Hello everybody, welcome to the Scrapbook Pal channel. This is Sandra Buse and today we're going to have a tutorial with Honey Bee Market Card Builder die. This is from their new collection and it's a market card, super adorable, very, very, very cute. You guys are going to love it. We're also going to use the market card stencil that coordinates with the die. So here are the um, Puppy Dog Tails stamp set that I choose for this card. There's so many sizes of dogs, very, very cute too. Here is the coordinated dies from the Puppy Dog Tails. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the MFT Clouds and Grassy Ages. Because these two uh, stencils are from the Slimline collection. So those are perfect for backgrounds. We also gonna use the Abriel Slimline borders. This will help me to create a 3D effect to my backgrounds really like to have these different type of uh, options for my for for my cards so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to cut all the pieces from the um, build card from the market build card and i cut it most of the pieces twice so just to have enough to fill up all my background and to fill up all my my scene so the stencil will help me to create these super cute effect to the top of the market card and to the bottom. It, it kind of gives the illusion that it has this fabric, you know, this type of fabric on the top and in the bottom. So for that, I'm going to use the Distress Oxide ink that is called Kitsch Flamingo. It's a very nice pink, kind of bright pink, and, and just ended up very good. Now the stencil, it is very, very helpful. I have to tell you that the first time I wasn't sure, but then after I use it, I really, really like it. And I think it's a must have. If you're gonna have the card, yes, you're gonna need to have the stencil with you because it just makes it easier to create that effect. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it white and pink. I, I was thinking maybe to put a violet, but after I saw how it looked with the pink, since this pink is very bright, so I think it was perfect just to leave it white and pink. So this is how it's going to look, as you can see there, that goes in the top and in the bottom. So for that, we're going to start building and we're going to use uh, my my favorite liquid adhesive, which is that Glitter Art Adhesive. And that is perfect because it has these very um, thin, very thin metal tip that it helps me to be more precise with my glue and not be messy. Since this the specific die has very tiny pieces, so then um, I think to have a metal tip in my glue, it really, really helped a lot. It just it gives a little bit more precise to to them, you know, to them to this thing. So to continue doing my card, I'm gonna just start putting more glue into all the pieces that I need to do. Now we are going to. Put the wheel. I don't know why did I cut two different type of wheels, but I just ended up needing one. So, and for that, I cut some gold paper into that just to make it more realistic. So here where the bases of the flowers go, I think it's called the pot flower. And I cut six pieces just because I wanted to put one on top of the other one. But after I put the flower, the flower, the flower cluster together, I think I didn't need it that many. Although I, I still use it for my for my scene. So these pieces are very tiny. So I really suggest to pick some pick tools. I think that's what it is. It's a pick tool or oh, it's also called a sticky tool that it helps you to pick these small pieces and it makes it easier to create your cluster. Now these pieces are small, but I was able to hold it also in my hand. As you can see with my fingers, I was able to, to glue it. But to make it faster, I have to tell you that yes, using this tool, it really helped. So um, Scrapbook Pal has many options for you. I'm going to link some of them so you guys can choose if you if you want to choose one of them. So I create many of them. I think I create, let's see, four, eight, eight different clusters of flowers. And my color palette was between, you know, the pink, the reddish and the yellow. And I also put a little bit more details into those flowers. I got a marker, just start different colors of markers and start creating the centers of the flowers and just give them a little bit more dimension to make it look realistic. So we're almost done with this part and then we're gonna start putting everything on the base. Like I said before, 
for these type of projects where you're going to have small pieces I really suggest to have a precision tip for your glue and also to have a pick tool for that now in the in in the die in the die set they have these um i don't know if you see that that's the brown part that i cut there that is to put the the pot the flower pots there it's kind of like a display it looks more like a wood i wanted to do kind of like a wood stand but it will display my flower my flower pots there better so here we're gonna start putting these cluster of flowers into these flower pots and i don't know if you noticed but i use some different type of inks to distress the edges the edge of each of my flower pots so a little just to give a little bit more dimension to it and i'm just simply positioning all my flowers and this and just making the decision where to put it or how to put it there so we're almost done with these six different flower pots they're very cute by the way as you can see it's very adorable so now we are going to just put it on top of the card but before we do them this is how it's going to look look and that has an opening in the middle that it's part of the die the die cuts that opening in the middle so you can stick those flower pots there inside and you know it's just kind of like a display so this is how it's going to look this is how i was planning to position now i picked a card of five by seven that's that's the base of my card and for that i cut a piece of 10 by seven inches 10 inches by seven and just a score and a half and here's where the cloud stencil comes in place and i use my tumble glass oxide ink as you as you know when i do a cloud background i always use this specific um distress ink because i like this color of, of this shade of blue light blue and i also picked this tool um scrapbook pad has this different type of a blending tool so this is one of my favorite ones so that's what i'm doing here now the clouds doesn't have to be exactly you know like um symmetrical the crazier the better because there are clouds so i'm just gonna do different size you can even turn the the stencil to the other side because either side the clouds are a little bit smaller so it's up to you how you want to do it um here i'm just trying to give myself an idea how far i want to go with the cloud so i decide to do one more um pass with them with the ink with these clouds and then we're going to start creating the, um, the grass for the grass i also picked another oxide ink and this one is called if i'm not mistaken peeled is it called peeled yeah peel paint it's a really nice green so i turned the grass upside down uh, you can see there and i start just going for it um I, I wasn't very worried about how to blend it here it is as you can see it doesn't look very well blend but it's okay you do not worry about it because it's a grass and you know and no grass are look exactly very equal in, in the green plus i use this is where i use the slim line border dye from Ariel and this is what i like look at that i just covered the part that maybe you, you may think that it would, didn't look very nice blended but i really really like how it looked just with the stencil in the background and the die cut on top of it you see the clouds i think it's just extra so it gives kind of like this 3d effect to my card so this is me giving myself an idea now i was ready to start gluing i'm going to start with the grass and since it's the slim line so it's kind of long but that's okay you can you know start playing with it and start positioning however you want it. you have a lot of space there to to decide what part do you want i don't know if you noticed but in my cloud in my cloud scene i met a boo boo yes <laughs> somehow i i put a little bit of green into the sky and it did bother me <laughs> but it's okay this is handmade and it's always a way to fix that and that's what that's what i did at the end i fixed that part so don't worry about it you will see it at the end here is the card the market car flower shop and i'm gonna put it there and just put in a little bit of glue and just sticking it there 
Now, I suggest to put that part before. I almost forget about it, but I'm glad that it didn't took me so long when I remember it. So the glue wasn't completely dry, so I wasn't able to. So I was able to put it inside. You see that? I just to stick it inside there. Now, we're gonna start positioning all the, the uh, flower pots there. So, uh, I like the slit that it, that it has there, that it cuts from the die, because it gives me the option to put my bases kind of like under the slit so that's how it's going to look like i told you i create i, I cut many pieces of flowers so i have extra so this is where i'm gonna kind of start decorating the card a little bit because this is a car shop a uh, flower shop so it's gonna be a lot everywhere so it's just me trying to figure it out and to play a little bit with these flower pads and see where i wanted to where i want to put it so now this is where I come in place, the puppy dog tails, because of course I wanted to have a little dog there since I have a little space. So I was thinking a chihuahua dog will work for it. And also I like this fire hydrant and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a high fry, um, fire hydrant just there and I'm going to also do the little chihuahua there sleeping next to it. This is my Misty stamping tool. You know that every time I stamp, I love to have the Misty. It's just very helpful in case I stamp it in the first time it doesn't come through very smooth. So then I have a second chance or third or four, how many times I wanna do it. So this is my Memento Tuxedo, black tuxedo, tuxedo black ink. And this is perfect for any um, alcohol marker that you have that you wanna color. This will help you to color and it won't smear it will just keep it very nice so i'm done with that i cut with the coordinated dies look at that little chihuahua sleeping there in the fire hydrant and we're just going to stick it there now since the chihuahua is going to be next to it i decided to use the 3d square foams this is a different size they come different sizes so I got one small one and one uh, big one of the squares and just put the little puppy sleeping next to the, to the fire hydrant. So here are my flowers again. I decided to put a little bit of 3D foam just to make a pop out of the scene. I'm gonna do the same thing with the red flower and we were practically almost done. I have to tell you that the pictures doesn't get it justice. That doesn't do justice to how really this card looked. I was working on it and every time I was working on it, I just started screaming off. I don't know, just get super excited because it looks adorable. There is what, how I fix my boo-boo. You see, I have these little tiny clouds and I just start putting in there. You could have, if you have a butterfly, stick there a butterfly, a bee, whatever you have there. It's always a way to fix our mistakes. And I really liked how I, you know, I just fix it. I just put little tiny clouds. You can just cut it and it will work. So I have more flower pots and I didn't want to just leave it there so I decided to put a little bit more in this one the last one I put it behind the grass that 3d grass or the the grass um, thing that I cut I just put it behind it and that was it and for the middle I also put some 3d foam like I said to make it pop out so now we're almost done we need to have a sentiment and for that I picked these die from Ariel that is called simply sentiments and this specific stamp comes so many, so many different uh, sentiments for you to choose from. And here I'm using my EK powder tool just to make sure that since I'm going to do an embossing powder, embossing, oh, an embossing powder, I use the, the white and I don't want it to stick in parts that I don't want it. So that's why you need to use this powder. And now just, you know, always use your uh, heat tool. And that's all that I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna start cutting it and position it into my card. Okay, you guys, this is it. I love it so much. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy by making it. Don't forget to do some shopping and I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye-bye.